All right, just wanted to make a quick video explaining how atheism is actually refuted by my cat. His name is Boa. And I've said this before in another video. I, I recorded it about almost two years ago. But I'm just going to harp on it again. Because as, an, as a former atheist, which, you know, atheists like to deny that I was a former atheist. Whole other side issue. But I think it's because most of them just don't like the idea of somebody actually leaving the communist religion of atheism. Uh, which, again, is another side issue as well. The, the communist connection. But the bottom line is, is that... You know, I've I posted videos of my cat on my Instagram page, and really just the the complex nature of the cat, of how you know how intelligent cats can really be. You know, because I am I'm uh, somewhat of a cat lover, but when you look at just the intelligent, uh, uh, complex design of the cat. You know how cats are able to figure things out, figure out certain things, figure out certain patterns. I mean, there have been times where I'd go to work come back and the cat would actually figure out my routine of when I would leave and come back. He actually would he'd figure that out and he would actually, you know, wait for me at the door at a certain time because he knew when I would come back and when I, when I would. The cat also uh, has figured out that the dog I also have won't go a certain area. So the cat will actually go to those certain areas to escape the dog. Why? Because, you know, just the complex nature is enough to convince anybody of intelligent design, anybody that has a rationally thinking mind, uh, that's intelligent design. You know, if you think it all just morphed out of algae or something like that, that that's a bunch of, of um, irrational garbage, I put it that way. And as, as a former atheist, I used to believe all that stuff. As a former atheist, I used to believe in all the, the foolish theories that come with atheism. But just simply looking at the complex nature of my, my cat alone is enough to really c convince anybody that the just the, the uh, unique design of just... Every, how every single animal is unique in their own in their own way, you know. And, and people use this argument before, but just simply go out in nature, and you'll see all the proof you need for the existence of intelligent design. That simple, because the cat, and you look at the cat's body too. You know, he can he knows routines, he knows uh, where to find food, he knows he knows how to beg for food too. He knows when I get like there's one time where I said the word tuna, and the cat came running towards me. Because he, he figured out what that word meant. And there's other crazy instances I've had where the cat will actually, you know, I've seen videos online, for example, where cats will actually defend their owners from certain from certain things. They'll take care of individuals. So just simply observing my pet cat named Boa is just enough to remind me, yeah, there's intelligent, there's intelligent design. Or, you know, reassure me, essentially. Because, again, God saved me out of the sci-fi religion of atheism when I was 18. And I was an atheist in my early teens for many years, and my cat is actually wanting to give me, me to give him attention right now. So I'll, I'll have to do that. But, but the bottom line is, is that I could go on forever about this, but the bottom line is the complex nature of every unique animal, but especially my cat, for me personally, is enough to really convince any rationally thinking person that there is intelligent design, and that atheism is just a bunch of science fiction, false religion. That simple. So that's my point. Uh, that's the word of an ex-atheist like myself. Uh, don't be deceived by atheism as I once was. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, with all the brethren, goodbye. Thank you.